In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the classic song, Dark Eyes, but how to really play it, not just the melody. I'm going to teach you the accompaniment, the bass line, and lots of ways to improvise over the song, starting from beginning ideas to more complex ideas. The song sounds like this. <laughs> Let's just get right into it, all right? We're gonna start by learning the accompaniment. I'm gonna set up a fresh loop, so I'm doing it with you. And we've got the chords in the description. The chords are in the description. So the first chord we're gonna play is A7. And for any kind of seven chords, what I usually recommend is you play your third and seventh. So that's gonna be C sharp and G. And we're gonna do a strumming pattern like this. A one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna to go to D minor. Back. Do the same thing, A7, D minor. Now we're gonna go to G minor. There's different ways to do this and I'll get it, I'll get into it. D minor, A7. And that's basically a simple version of the chords of your accompaniment part, all right? And again, I'll link some more resources about that below, but basically you wanna have the notes from each of these chords, you wanna follow the chord symbol, and you wanna be able to play some kind of double stop version like this. Now let's do the bass line. This is even easier for a bass line. There's a simple version, which is just repeat the letter name of the chord. So for A, you can just play A twice on each bar. But I'm gonna do the next most difficult version, which is basically root fifth. So we start on A, one, two, ready, go. Root, fifth, root, fifth, D, fifth, D, A, fifth, D, fifth, G, root to the fifth, back to D, back to A, and then back to D. And now we have our loop. Well, let's practice the bass line one more time. Okay, let's try something really quick. Let's do the arpeggios in root position. Yeah, we'll do just the triads. A triad. And then D minor triad. A minor. A. play G minor and D minor we have more advanced stuff later now D minor all right now in fact I'm already gonna do something advanced right now which is we're gonna play voice led combinations of these arpeggios just voice leading of only these triads <laughs> Right. So you can see here I'm just flowing through the arpeggio. So that's ultimately what you're going to learn to do. Right now I'm going to demonstrate that, let you play them after me, the voice-led triads, okay? So A, and then D minor. And we'll go up to the next voice. That's A on C sharp, D on D minor, then G, voice leading. Voice leading. Going, we'll go down. We voice lead. Next voice down. We'll go here. Go here. That's a good way to illustrate what voice leading actually is. It's just when we move from one position of the chord to the nearest position of the next chord. All right, so now let's get into doing some simple play after me melodic improvisation. And in this, I wanna focus on the rhythmic aspect of what we're doing. So because the way the form works, I'm gonna make these lines short, but I'm gonna to try to make these ideas not only work with the chord tones, but I'm gonna also try to make them feel swinging, feel good. This is something that even if you're super advanced, you can never make your lines feel 
good enough, right? We can always work on making them feel better. And if you're not super advanced, this will be a great way for you to practice improvising over this song. So you play after me. <laughs> All right, so that's micro variations of the melody. Now let's get away from the melody and again, some short lines, then I'm gonna do some longer lines and then we'll get more complex with it. So here are shorter lines. Um... Another one. And as you can see, these chords, they move so fast that what we really wanna do is we wanna change the loop so we have a little more time to stay on each chord and play slightly longer melodies in this takeaway style. So I'm gonna move my loop. I already prepared this one for you. And as you're here, this is going to allow us to play each phrase and make it longer. I'm gonna start with easier phrases and then I'm gonna to get to more difficult phrases. And I'm gonna base it around the arpeggio, starting on the note A. Basing on the arpeggio. I'll make them a little trickier now. Get mostly focusing on the arpeggios. Okay, so that was mostly focused on the arpeggios. This time, I'm gonna to try to play more scalar bass lines, but where we still are implying the arpeggio. 
Um, and for more deeper dives on how to do all these things, learn the arpeggios, construct scales, play bebop scales, and a lot more, follow the links in the description. Because I've got a lot of ways that I can support you in this, for my home study course, my Zoom classes, live retreats, all that stuff. These are gonna be trickier lines. <laughs> going. All right, now let's try a version where I play a line and then you play whatever you want, something different than me. All right, just staying with this same loop right here. A one, two, a one, two, three. <laughs> more time just trading Awesome, awesome. So let's go back to the original form and just to remember how that form goes. And then I'm gonna leave the backing track for you to play with just the, the normal form so that you can practice a little bit. And as a review, we did our 
accompaniment, which is also known as our inner voices. And we worked on the bass line. We worked on constructing short phrases, simple phrases based on voice led chord tones. And, and then we started to emphasize those chord tones, but within the context of different scalar explorations while trying to make shapes and sounds and all that other stuff, right? I do wanna make just an appeal that if you've made it this far in this video, please consider supporting the channel by leaving a comment, liking, subscribing, all those things help me a lot, sharing, all that kind of stuff. And let me know what you're looking for. All right, so I'm gonna maybe take one or two choruses just on the normal form so you can hear it, and then I'm gonna just let the backing track go for you. All right, here we go. Uh... One more time. All right, cool. Thanks for indulging me on that. And now I'm gonna let the backing track roll for you and you enjoy it and happy practicing. Here we go, ready? One, two, a one, two, three, four. 